Welcome to Reversing Chaos. In this presentation, we are going to explore ancient knowledge, lost wisdom and quantum physics to help you unlock the power of your thoughts. Let me introduce myself. My name is Cathy Campbell and I'm an Egyptologist and the director of the Institute of Egyptian Metaphysics. I hold three master's degrees, including an MA in Egyptology. I was an adjunct lecturer at Macquarie University for 12 years, led tours to Egypt for six years, and I'm a Reiki master. I've spent 15 years researching Egyptian metaphysics, the study of the application of universal life force energy to aspects of ritual, worship, healing, and so-called magical practice, which has resulted in, in the development of a series of courses to bring the information that I've uncovered to the world. A key aspect of my discoveries relates to the encoding of the principles of quantum physics and the power of the new science of noetics in Egyptian esoteric law. One of the things I'm called to do is embodied in this presentation, which is to create a series of thought experiments that apply the principles of this law to real world applications. As a Reiki master, I was already working with energy healing when I stumbled across the Egyptian system of energy healing. 15 years later, I have finally pieced together not only the details of the Egyptian system of energetic law, but also matched it up with the science to prove it. My research has ranged over many fields to bring this information together. Let me explain how the 5,000 year old secrets of ancient Egypt are relevant to today's world and your life. Here at the Institute, we are looking for thought warriors. Are you called to help others on the planet? Do you have empathy and a big heart? Are you sensitive, kind? Do you worry about the future for your children and grandchildren? Do you genuinely want to help others? Do you feel helpless in the face of today's planetary challenges? Are you inspired to do something but don't know how to begin? If you could do something, would you want to know how? Are you frustrated, angry, helpless or sad? Do you struggle with chaos in your daily life? Do you see chaos all around you in the world at large? Are you worried about the world your children and grandchildren will inherit? Does fear control your life? Do you struggle with a lack of focus? Do you dream big but fail to follow through because something is holding you back? What if you could do something to change all that? The ancient Egyptians had a concept that is more than a religious idea. It's a coded message of hope for our world, one that we can now decode and use for our benefit. The concept is called Mart. In this video in two parts, I will explain the concept of Mart, how you can apply it to improve your life and how you can become a thought warrior to help change the world. I will explain the science behind this concept and how it works. And then I will show you the four conditions to achieving the state of Mart. Finally, I'll invite you to join me in an experiment to harness Mart in a specific example of reversing chaos in the world. The premise behind this is that thoughts are energy that has power and thoughts in unison have even greater power when applied in the right way. Thoughts have power. Let me give you an example. Have you ever thought of someone you haven't thought about in a long time only to have them call you at that moment? We've all had this happen and lots of other small examples of apparent synchronicity in our lives. These are just little hints of what is possible when we harness the power of thought. The Intention Experiments by Lynn McTaggart, the world's number one authority on intention, spirituality and the new science, document thousands of examples of synchronicity, prayers answered and miraculous healing, personal and planetary, based on the science of the zero point field. What I'm about to tell you is how the ancient Egyptians explained, understood and applied this phenomenon, which science has now revealed to be true. It all begins with Heka. This word has been erroneously translated as magic by Egyptologists. As a noun, it means universal life force, the energy in everything. You may have heard of this concept as chi, ki, or prana. As a verb, it means the practice of channeling energy through the body. Understanding Heka is the key to understanding Egyptian energy practice. Working with Heka is central to Egyptian ritual, worship, so-called magical practice and healing practice. Put simply, Heka is the substance channeled. Necha, or Heka beings. Egyptians referred to beings of pure Heka 
as Necha, which term has been translated as gods by the Egyptologists. Necha have multiple avatars. These include animals and combined human and animal representations. The purpose of a Necha in the Egyptian system of worship was as a focal point for concentrating the worshippers' thoughts and intent. Therefore, each Necha has a function and a purpose, a set of characteristics and personality that make them accessible and identifiable. In Terry Pratchett's Disc World, the gods are given life by the prayers of their followers. The more followers they have, the stronger they are. Gods with few followers would dwindle away to nothing. Fantasy, right? A nice story for kids. Turns out he may have been sort of right. Let's take a look at the Egyptian system of worship. Communing with nature. Through communing with the nature, the ancient Egyptian could easily visualize the nature and thus summon up the energy or heka of the nature. Focus on precisely the right aspect they needed help with. For example, Hathor is the goddess of marriage, music, singing, drunkenness, and love. So an Egyptian who wanted some assistance with their love life would talk to Hathor about it. They are also able to achieve the correct brain state to access the power of the Netcher's thought form and channel their thoughts in the right way to get an outcome from the Netcher. Introducing Mart, the central concept of Egyptian energy practice. Mart is the Netcher who embodies the principle of order and purity and exemplifies the qualities of justice, truth, balance, peace, the opposer of chaos, entropy and decay. The condition of living on or in Mart is one of harmony with the universal life force, that is Heka, and maintenance of the world in equilibrium. The king's primary role as chief priest of Egypt was to maintain Mart, to which end all the temple rituals were directed. The philosophy of Mart. Egyptian energy practice operates from the principles of Mart, that is, order, justice, balance, equilibrium, calm, stillness, peace, harmony, truth, integrity, self-regeneration, good health, mental, emotional and physical, purity, cleanliness, rectitude, self-control, kindness and forgiveness. All of these are possible through achieving the state of Mart. The role of Mart in ritual practice. The philosophy of Mart and belief in the laws of Heka underpins the whole of Egyptian religious belief and ritual practice. Thoughts and spoken words, that is utterances or hu in ancient Egyptian, have energy or Heka. Thoughts, words have will, that is bow in Egyptian, intent, ipet, power, sekem. Thus, the role of the priest of the liturgy or hymns, spoken words, the Keri Heb, is so powerful and important in Egyptian ritual. We invite you to participate in a thought experiment. We run regular thought experiments to help others on the planet and you are invited to participate. To become a thought warrior, you simply enrol in our free course, Reversing Chaos. This course will equip you with the technique to access the state of mind and become effective at taming chaos in your life and the world around you. We invite you to enrol in this free course. See the link below. Join us and begin to help yourself, your friends and family and the planet. This concludes part one of this presentation.